SFL Insights provides to you. As you can see on the right hand side, we can see how basically you have your shipment screen loaded, right? Now what this does is it pulls in data from CargoWise, but we, what we want to do is to make sure that the process is easy for your customers to understand, right? So what we've done is we've created this card view that allows you to click on the one hand and then get the information on the other hand. That way you're not having to refresh your screen just in order for you to get access to, the, to all of the information, right? So think about it this way. Um, on this screen, what you can see is they have access to all the basic details, right? And they can look into it. Now, I'm, I'm thinking about a maybe a branch manager or a or maybe one of your customers who has already sent out their order, right? And they want to come in and say, okay, did we get, did we put in all the information correctly? This is where, this is the screen where they get to see it. But what's better is the, the routing. Right. Not only will they see they have live vessel tracking that allows them to look at the entire operation across the screen. And what they can do is they can roll this up if they want to have a better view of the map or much better is we have milestones being pulled in from the cargo and from the vessel itself. Right. Or they can, you can integrate it with your cargo wise milestone. Now, the, the good thing here that you have to think about is imagine you're doing end to end. Um, transport right or shipment now the good thing about this is for just the usual milestones right um, you can have the vessel milestones being pulled in but if you include the cargo wise milestones which means this will cover for anything beyond port to port right and it also integrates certain things that you as the flight forwarder have put in as okay we feel this is a milestone that our customers will be more interested in that is not captured by the standard uh, carrier milestones that has been sent to us, right? And they can see it. And notice something interesting here is that in the mapping, outside of just the geographical data here, you can see how we're showing you all the destination that has been reached, including um, the ET and the ETD. So in case there is anything missed, all this information will be captured here, right? But what's more, what we love about this is that for your customers, we have, we have actually built in a chat option. And if there's anything, any issue that they have with this particular shipment, what they can do here, right, is basically click on the chat option. And after clicking on the chat option, they now get to see, uh, they now get to talk to the team and it is shipment specific. That way they are not saying they are not giving you all the data for the shipments and saying, oh, um, um, you're not as an operator, you're not requesting for the shipment number, you know precisely what they need, and you can just continue the chat chat shift seamlessly. What we've also added here is if you see the bell icon here, is for them to be notified. So if you're on mobile, you get mobile notification through push notification. But if um, you prefer by email, your customers will also be able to get uh, their notifications sent directly to them via email right so these are a lot of the features that we've built in but it's not just about the features it's about how they work together and that for us is what we're very very interested in um, how these features work together to enhance um, the product to enhance the life of your uh, customer to in in enhance your operations as well and to make you more transparent to the customer um, but what's even more interesting for me here is that they can have per package um, information so that they can drill down and see they can have access to the documentation as well this gives them direct access to edocs and should say there are documents that you found missing during the bookings process, they can automatically upload it from this side. And uh, one of the, my favorite use cases is when a customer say um, they were on the go and they have the documents with them, but they forgot to upload one or two of the documents. When you make a request, you see what they can do is 
pull out their mobile phones, use the mobile, use the new scanners that we have on the mobile phone, put it there and upload it. And if this is a document that's required by customs, um, you are able to clear that detention much faster and much quicker. It just gives them so much more flexibility um, and, you know, so they can work on the go and uh, basically uh, get things done without necessarily, you know, having to wait a lot of time. Another feature that we've built in here is the ability to export. So let's say for customers who want to export it maybe into Excel and feed it to maybe their Power BI or they have other tools that they can integrate this data to, we allow for that and we actively encourage that. Why? Because again, how do we make your work easier and how do we and give you uh, tools that will enhance uh, your work and make it much easier. So another interesting uh, feature that we have is you have seen the card view, but we're not only stopping at the card view. What we wanted to do is say for customers who are more interested, well maybe I, let me put it this way, older customers tend to be far more partial to the old way of, you know, the grid style. Let's present everything uh, in one grid style, like Excel style format. That way they get access to all of their shipments, right? What we've done is we've implemented that so they can sort as well by volume, weight, container number, order. All of these things allow them to sort and they can make filters based on that, right? They can turn on notification, mail, chat, share, all of these options we have available. But what for me is interesting is they can drill down and then get access to the same things. So routing details, cargo details, documentations, all of these uh, details are available for them. It will be almost as though, you know, so if you don't prefer the, car the, the card view, we also have the grid view for, for you, which allows you to drill down. And we also have a allow you to search as well. So if you have anything, shipment number, uh, container number, order reference number, master bill number, you can all uh, put that in and it helps them get to their shipments as quickly as possible, which is really what we encourage. The question is, how can we make sure that your customers get to their shipments or to, to do their work as quickly as possible? Because of that, we've also added the ability for them to sort, search. They can search, they can sort by preloaded, in transit and arrived if they, understand, if they know the status of that particular shipment. You know. So again, the idea behind it is to make the tool as easy as possible and as intuitive as possible for the customer. So we give them a lot of options so that they get to figure out which one is best for them and which one they prefer that goes better with their workflow and how they think 